Hi, it's Hazy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making this. It's an envelope with, with this is the actual one I've made, and I've done trivia facts. So if you see that one as well, that's the one I'm using for that, but it doesn't close with it. <laughs> and I don't want to bend it. Okay, so let's get this. I've got this idea. I've got these. I've got belly band there. I've got um, one of those little tuck things with a tuck spot behind with trivial facts. Do read the trivia out as well. It's quite interesting. Put that in a different place to what I did in my prototype that's at the end because i've got that in the wrong place but hey and then i've done a sh um, explain how to make the envelope um if you haven't got a maker as well but there was a proper video on how to do that okay and then i've done a little spine as well I'll show you how to make the spine which is different to septeria 18 she didn't do the spine but that is a very good i love that spine i will definitely do it again definitely definitely do that again the way that is okay and then I just put that and then I'll show you how to do the closure. Use those uh, flowers we did the other day as well for those. OK, um, and the envelope as well. OK, then, thank you very much. You've given me a thumbs up today. Thank you. for you give me a thumbs up any time. Yeah, thank you. Anybody who subscribed to my channel, thank you so much as well. OK, I've got papers on Kofi at the moment, the pretty ones. The um, I've also got some on my Facebook group as well. Um, but I've done the Kofi for people who can't get on Facebook. I'm hoping to add some more to that. I've got to find out how to do it. <laughs> OK, so let's go then and I'll show you how to make this. So I'm just saying something. My husband came in to tell me something. Right. OK, so I'll start again. <laughs> OK, this is um, this this is like a set I'm making today, making the whole thing. It shouldn't take that long. I just have to um, do it as quick as I can. OK, so we have an envelope and an envelope in a pocket. And I'm going to put a closure on here. I'm going to show you how to do a closure. Be very look, that's upside down because <laughs> I put the other matter. I put the score lines at the wrong side. Anyway, this is just a prototype. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make that and I had to make this little journal which is the whole thing and it's so cute and um, yeah I'm gonna um, okay so it's septeria 18 idea I thought I could I was doing it myself and then I realized I was doing it exactly the same way as she's done <laughs> so oh, so I might as well sort of like say it and right there we go um so I'm going to start now I'm going to start with the envelope and then we're going to show you how to make the journal which is which is quite a cute cool idea Okay, so this is the envelope. I've got a four by oh, I was going to, I don't know which way to choose now. I've got a double sided paper, it might be better to use double sided paper throughout, but I've got you know ideas and, I, and, and that one isn't, and it looks really good, so interesting. So I'm going to score this at right, look, I think this one's better to score, <laughs> score the little bit, score the little tiny. So I'm only going to score a quarter of an inch down the whole side, right? Okay, because that will. Can just fit the journal in snugly then it's really good right, so i'm going to scroll all the way down the whole so i'm just checking it's um yeah, four by twelve so that's that and then i'm going to this is the, this is the inside i don't think it matters too much and then i'm going to score down and this is sort of sort of got a direct i thought she was in the room right this is a dutch must be put <laughs> her head so close to the door so i can hear her <laughs> hold on <laughs> She was in the, she's in the room, it's okay, she's in the room, she's, she's on my printer, I thought this to myself, she sounds like she's in the room, but sometimes if you notice cats and dogs, um, or especially cats, if you can't hear them, they, they can move closer so you can. Right, so which is, this is sort of directional, isn't it? Yes, that's up. So I'm going to turn it upside down, so now that would be my flap, my flap's going to be scored at, I'm doing it one and three quarter inches because I'm going to make some um, little um i think i think sandy did it at two inches right so that's that one and then i'm going to score at four and a half from the bottom so i'm turning it around so i get this right so now it's going four and a half from there okay from there to there so that's the bottom so that should when i turns it up when that turns over now i've turned it upside down that should work out as um Right, the right way around, and that looks fine to me. Right, and that should be upside down, if anything. Oh, hold on a minute, that's not right, is it? Oh, you can't tell, can you? You can't really tell. So that's fine. That is actually upside down because that's the right way. <laughs> Never mind. Well, if you wanted to do it, what you'd do is turn it upside down, which is that way round, and then you'd make the flap that side. So that would turn the right way round, and then the other bit. So that would turn it up the other way, but it doesn't seem to matter. 
So we've done okay on that lot, even though that is upside down. Right, then I'm going to cut. I haven't done it yet. I haven't found papers yet, so I'm going to find papers. Um, I need a piece of paper two inches by four inches, I think. Yes, two inches by four inches and for the little pocket, because I'm going to make a little pocket there. And then I'm going to make that envelope as well, which is... Let's have a look. I think it's six, isn't it? Six inches by uh, probably three and a half. Six by three and a half because I'm going to turn in these. Okay, so six by three and a half for that, and then two and four for the pocket. Okay. Yeah, so I'm using two scoreboards today. I'm using this. This one's very good for making those little like quarter inch things down the side hopefully <laughs> she says all right so i'm doing those and then this is the envelope so i've scored those i've scored a quarter of an inch each side on the little envelope i've turned upside down first that's i've decided to use that i absolutely adore this it's like grungy i love grungy right so that's that would be that way if i wanted to do it the other way it would be like that it turns out the same that is very lopsided looking to me <laughs> it's not like someone's copying the cat again. Right, and then um, she did it one night because she because we had to keep them all in and we kept them all in the kitchen where the litter is. <laughs> she was meowing to get out. She desperately wanted to escape the other cats. <laughs> I find out what, what that that noise is now. Right, so now I'm going to round the corners. Right, I thought. Oh dear, I didn't realise this thing. Right, so I've already rounded the corners like a nana. So I'm got, I'm going to do is uh now what do i take off i didn't i don't know what I took off oh that's what i did i did it like that didn't i right i've got an idea for this right wait a minute you lot right the idea is this okay this is how i'm making these i think this is quite a good idea okay so when i'm making this sort of thing although you know i'm going to cut off this i want to keep this bit and i want to keep that bit so i'm going to do it like this because i'm going to, to double that up and try and make it into sort of like an extra bit of a pocket so I'm going to cut off this corner here while that's bent up and cut off that one okay then I'm leaving that bit there up to this bit here and I'm going to cut that a corner off too and then cutting off the including the corners I've just made <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same to the other side I'll come down this way though I'll just cut off that bit there where I've just scored and then I'm going to make whoops I'm going to do the same to the other envelope as well now I can round the corners Hopefully I've cut the bit out while I was rounding the corners because I was also speaking to my son because he wanted to know how much food I'd fed them today and I've fed them a whole tin of it already. Yeah. Okay, so I can do it like that. You can do it like that or that. But what I'm going to try and do is glue them two together there, which worked fine on the other one. So that might give it a bit of an extra um, gusset. Ideally, you'd want to. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm going to try and do is just try and glue along these two edges here, these two on the outside, okay. Okay, that gives it a little bit of a. Because it already helps not close it up, have it? I did that as well. Right, I haven't uh, done a little that you can, can do, but I wouldn't do it too far down because that would, that is um, quite a short little. So a little little one like that would be great on that if you want to do that because it does look cute like that, doesn't it? Let's see, I didn't do it on that one either. Is that the same? It's turned up the same size, which is perfect. Right, if this brings me to this one where I've done the two inch by um, four, uh, three, wait a minute, I think it's four inch, wasn't it? Two inch by four inch um, piece of paper. So I'm going to now cut the corners of these little, I've, I've, I've um, scored a quarter inch down each one on this one, which is, I think it's very good for doing the quarter inch. And I'm going to give it a bit of a, instead of straight across, then I can join those two together a bit. Yeah, I can join those two. You might not want to do that. You might think, no, I didn't want to do that. So you can cut it straight across if you want. I'm just going to join these two bits. Okay. 
and then I'm going to glue on the other one, all on the other ones. I was, what was I doing? I was doing something else. Oh no, I haven't even, do you know what I haven't even done? I haven't even made this envelope yet, so what am I doing? <laughs> but I could switch it, I could put it down actually, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is put it down. On. <laughs> this is the other way around, so you really should, it shouldn't do it like this. That is very, very precariously, just the right size. And I'm going to do this exactly the same way as I did the other one, which is like this, cutting that off there, cutting those off. So it won't, it won't matter about that. <laughs> it shouldn't matter about that. So this is how bad I am, right? Okay, this is how logical I am. So I really should have done this one first. Okay, I'm going to... It's on seven, isn't it? Oh, no, it's on one. Right, so, right, so I'm cutting this now. Um, up to there. And then I'm going around the corner of this as well. Then I'm going to glue, I'm going to glue sort of normally, I'm going to glue it all the way in this one, try not to make it so, so I don't think it matters too much. It should give some, somewhat of a gutted, gut, gutted, gutted, it's like cooking in a circus in here, right, okay, <laughs> even though I'm busy. Right, does anybody else get this from their families? Right. Oh no, I don't think, yeah, that's right, it's it, it just all the way up, isn't it, yeah. Could have done that one with her. Why well, didn't I? Did I know? Okay, and this that cute little thing should fit in there. Yeah, that's really pretty, isn't it? That Stamperia one, <laughs> Stamperia um, paper. Right. Um, oh no, did, oh, do you know what? I was going to do it that way one time, I've done it that way. Never mind. Never mind, I've got that inside that's pretty, haven't I? Okay. Right, let us see. See, I've made all those mistakes and it didn't matter at all, did it? Right, all those all those silly mistakes. You imagine, imagine that, all those silly mistakes I've made. But it's turned out fine because everything can work and everything is absolutely fine. So that's a very good, very good lesson, actually, isn't it, for everyone, including me. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, right, I've done this, and this is the basic. I might do the uh, closure at the end. But I'm going to, I've got an idea for the closure, thanks to Patricia May Anthony, who reminded me. So this is to make the journal. Okay, I'm going to make, this is uh, 12 by 10 inch paper. I've cut off the, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if you've, if you've got directional paper. I would have cut off either the bottom or top, I think. Well, hopefully I've got, I hope it's the same as me. I think this is any direction, it, things go different. Well, that seems to be that way. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway, because when it, when it comes to making it, it'll be fine. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to put it upside down and score at three inches, six inches, and nine inches. Turn it round and score at five inches, which is, should be in the middle. Just making sure we're in. I'm using this board because this one seems to be a bit better for doing things like this. Okay. Um, I'm not sure whether that's the supposed to be there. I think I've got the side anyway, so it doesn't matter. In mine. I'm, I'm, mine's turned round. I think I've got the side rather than the <laughs> top or the bottom. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just cut from here all the way down to the, where the last one lies. So that's the last one there, up to there. Okay, just to that score line there. Let's do that. I want, this, I want this on the outside for the cover, that on the inside for some sort of journaling, but let's see if I can find out how to, that will be the middle, that will actually be the middle, that bit that's joined will be the middle, um, I think what we do is then fold it that way, that's right, isn't it? so then you'd fold it inside out, okay, and fold it like a concertina, concertina, so if, you were, if your name's Katina, <laughs> fold you like a concert, <laughs> Right, okay, fold it like a concertina like that. It, that seems to be quite good by being the cover, <laughs> being a slightly bit bigger. So that works somehow. I don't know why or how or what the logic of that is, but it seems to work. 
Okay, so we're going to do that and refreeze in because then it's straighter. Okay, and again, from this side, the Constantina, this is the back cover or the front cover. Well, I don't know whichever one it turns out to be. I think it's the back. Right, okay. okay so that's that done. And that does not compute, does it? There we go. There we go. So I'm going to, oh, look at that, that's massive. Is it because that's so small? Let me just try and make that a bit less massive. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. It's just going to come forward again. Oh no, it's done it, it's done it. Right. So then you've got that at the back. And now we're going to do the pockets because I think that's the next best thing. Right, okay, so that is your front cover. That's actually on the side. <laughs> I think it's anyway up, look, because they're the, the white way up, aren't they? And they are. So I think it's anyway up on this. Right, um, so let's have a look that way. First one, I'm going to make that into a pocket. You could have other ideas, you could do anything, but if you're just following what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. This is going to be the pocket, so I make a notch in, right in the middle there somewhere. I want it in the middle because I'm going to put a tab on it. And the tab turns out to be the middle. Okay, so that, so that page, that page. Then we come to this. Oh, that's upside down. Ah, <laughs> that doesn't matter because I can join it at the top. Okay. Right, so then we go. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't matter which way round. It's going to be joined one way, isn't it? So I did that the one way round. I did it, I did it completely different on the prototype because I took the whole thing apart and just joined it. I thought, well, I may as well have left it joined. So that goes in there. I should have made sure this was about, but it doesn't matter, obviously. The mistakes I've made, that's fine. That goes in the middle there, and I've, it's landed on my top as usual. Yeah. And then you turn that, turn that. That's the last one. So it'll be this one then, okay. So the one after you, I think it's this one. And it's it's one, two, three from that end. If you, do, if you want to do this, you can do it a different way. Right, I'm going to do something in a minute that will make this into a, with a spine. But you can, if you don't want to do that, you could actually leave that open. Just join it as a pocket and leave it as a journaling spot. Okay, but I'm going to do a spine actually, so. So there. Hmm. <laughs> right, okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, what I did was glue. Right, so where that is, I'm going to glue this side and the bottom, okay. Because I think that's a bit, that sort of like tells you where. So the opposite side to that. That is right into it. That's the cover. So the cover's there. So I'm not gluing the cover. I'm gluing the other side of the journal. So that's the second. That's the first pocket, isn't it? And then I'm going to get this and try and attempt to squeeze as much glue as possible. Actually, that's a bit wet. So <laughs> let's get a dry one. Gets any glue away then. And we won't be shiny. I don't like that seeing that shiny glue, do you? I don't know. Right, okay, so that is now the bottom. So I'm going to glue the top and the side, okay? <laughs> Although it should have been... Uh, wait a minute, is that right? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm gluing the top and the side, aren't we? Yeah, uh, yeah, this is, I'm confused now, just a minute. Right, so I'm gluing that, gluing that. I've done that upside down. Right, so I've glued... No, I haven't glued that one. So I've glued that one, yeah, and now I'm going to glue, ah, the other side of that. So that, the other side, opposite side of that, but here and across here. I think I was going to glue here, I don't know, I don't know what I was going to do. So anyway, that will glue, opposite side of that, so obviously we've, then we've got an opening, obviously we glue there, that will close it. I've done that before, probably, like me as I do. <laughs> there we go. There we go, so that's that done. Okay, so that would close that. And then we make sure we're straight and close that. And the last one, which will be this one, okay. Um, I'm going to glue the so backwards L shape on that one. No, it's not a backwards L shape, it's a normal L shape, isn't it? <laughs> a normal L shape on that one. There we go. normal L shape on there. Okay, so that one goes there. That should be a little bit further back somewhere, isn't it? It's not. Is it this one? I think it was this one I was trying to get, wasn't I? A little bit further back. Hmm, yeah. That didn't work. Yeah, let's try and get that a little bit further back and on this side too. 
and then I'm going to brown fold it. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll move it. Just need a little bit, and it's going to be. It's going to be better, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Okay, so that's all straight, and that has a little tiny bit of. I don't think it matters. Right, because because I'm going to cover the spine. Right, I'll show you how to do that because it is a special way. There's a special way of doing the spine. I've got this paper. I'm going to use that one of that one. Right, boom. Right, so about one and a quarter inches. Let me show you. Okay, and I'm showing you on this for a reason. Now, this is, I found this very different. Let's see if it is one and a quarter inches. It might be a bit bigger. So I'm going to keep the daisy if possible. And cut off the yeah, because I've got my granddaughter. I want to keep her, don't I? <laughs> granddaughter Daisy, yeah. She's so cute. She loves her nanny. She gives me a hug. Yay! Right. So one and a quarter inches there. That's one and a quarter, isn't it? <laughs> Somewhere around there. Right. This is a difficult bit. Let's have a look. So, uh, oh, did I do it? Like, how did I do it before? I'm going to find eight. I need to find eighth of an inch in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to do an eighth of an inch. So it's like scoring, like directly in the middle would be something like that, wouldn't it? So I need either side of that. So I'm moving that up to there, moving that up to that 16th mark there. Anyway, hopefully I've cut that out because I said, <laughs> oh, somebody's at the door, you know, it's a reaction. Right, so I'm moving that up to there. Okay, uh, what, do, what was I doing? Oh, hold on, should it be there? It was. Was not in the middle, right? Yeah, that's the one next to the middle, isn't it? Hopefully, I don't know. Let's see if I've done that right. And then I'm going to move it up to the other side, which will be over there. And I'm trying to get an eighth of an inch, which will be back. And then I was going to do the other side of this, wasn't I? Sorry, I've had an interruption again. My, my junk fat it needed cleaning, uh, so I had to clear all my old videos out. So I'm doing it down this side now, so that leaves half an uh, eighth of an inch in the middle. Like, yeah, that is eight to the middle. Now I need to move it to there, right? That is that's the middle there. Uh, so I'd need to move it to one sort of back there. So that leaves that up. Is it under quarter of an inch there? Or is it the, that makes it two centimeters? Quarter of an inch, or that makes sense back there. So I'm going to, as it looks about three eighths of an inch to me. And then I'm making a mark the other side of it. Hold on, you have to lift it up there. All right, and then I'm going to eighth of an inch that side as well. You don't have to do this, this is just what bit I want to do. Okay. Okay, so what I've done there is, hopefully I'll it. <laughs> I made a spine in the middle. So there's, there's three lines, there's... Um, Four lines even, even, but there's three spaces between. So I'm going to fold those. I'm going to fold that one and fold this one this way. And turn it round and fold that one. Fold that one. Let's have a look because it's, it's a bit hard. See, normally I would just do the eighth of an inch, but then I realised you'd, you'd need another one, another line. So hopefully I've done it okay. So I'm going to bend that line there. I'm going to say this is better with a ruler than a, if you're doing these small lines, better with a, definitely better with a ruler than a, um, trying to fold them yourself. Unless you've got a special, unless there's a special method. Okay, I'm going to try and get this down there. So I can't even fold it. <laughs> so that's the outside. So I folded all the folds anyway, so hopefully that'll be okay. Um, there's the middle one. Oops, sorry, I don't mean to do that. Right, there's the middle one. Okay, that's the middle one. The idea is to get this over the middle. It's, got, it's longer than they. Well, it's not that one, is it? Where's the one I'm doing? It's this one, yeah. Just a different one. So I need to make that the same length as this. Which bit do I like the best? I like that darker bit, actually. So I'm going to do that bit. I should have done that to start with, shouldn't I, really? Measured it and everything. Yeah, five inches. It's actually six inches by looks of it, so... And then I'm going to bend that round the spine. Okay, so that will be... Yeah, that's eight for the lunch. 
right so that so so if we make sure that's the same then it will be bent round now I'm going to glue up to that just up to that first thing so there's four lines there I'm just going up to the first line on each side uh, no not up to that actually but not even up to that a bit further this way because then you've got to, I'll, I'll show you in a minute because if you notice what normal books do <laughs> yeah. Let's see which way round is it was a way round. Was it that way round? I don't know. Uh not matter which way round. I'm just making sure we've got the yeah, that's the way round. Okay, so I'm putting that on there, bending that round, making sure it's the same as the bottom. Okay, we're gonna move up a bit because we're very, very tiny bit down. Okay, normal books, let's have a look what normal books do. So if you remember I've glued just this bit here and that bit there, not all the way up to there, like I said. Okay, and then you do this and then you'll find you'll get that little gap that books get. Yeah, oh, look, so it works well. You can see that little little gap there that books get that. So if you wanted to do that, so that means that's why you don't glue all the way up, that otherwise you'd be it'd be coming apart anyway. So I've got all these now, okay, so I've got all those pages, very nice, you could round the corners, everything like that. Let's have a look, I'm going to put a um, flip page here, so that'll be fun, nice flip page for us there. Okay, yeah, the reason why I wanted a spine is because just to cover that, that flap, that, those three um, things up there, and I thought, well, yeah, that's brilliant. Brilliant, works brilliantly, doesn't it? So you've got to mess about with eighth of an inch, that's the only trouble. Right, let me get something out of my book. Is it this one? Yeah, this one will do. Something like that's fine. This, this is really thin paper, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to make that five by five by six. So I'm going to cut off an inch. And I'm going to score eighth of an inch. Okay, I've just folded that over. Yes, it's, as I say, it's easy to use a ruler. Do small little bits like that. Okay, so I'm putting this one on here. Oh, that, looks, that actually goes with it. It always happens, doesn't it? I don't. I mean to try not to do it so it goes with everything, just to show you. Um, thing. Right, okay, just to show you. Oh, anything goes. <laughs> well, that goes with that, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, let's say, uh, yeah, that's sort of orangey like that, which is um, a, a bit strange. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, because that's plain white, and I don't want it to be plain white, I'm going to put... What I fancy on here. So you can call it, do it with stencils or something like this. This is my current favourite stencil. <laughs> I adore this stencil. I'm mad on it at the moment. Where's my... That's that. Yeah, so I've got blue on there already. I didn't use any blue in my other journal. What are you doing, dog? Keep still. Right, okay. I'm just going to... So that's that. Lots. And then I'm going to turn that round somewhere. Just to do the next, next bit, even though the splash is going to be exactly the same as that one. <laughs> I absolutely adore that. I don't know why, I just do at the moment. This is my favourite at the moment, so I've done quite a lot of that in my journal, uh, my other journal. Right, okay. It doesn't matter which way around, does it? I've done that upside down. It should have been like that. Yeah, so if you don't, make sure you get it the right way around. I'm not logical, am I? So that's my excuse. Okay, so I'm going to now glue down here. Yeah, like that, yeah. And then, right, to get this on, uh, I think we're going to fold it like, is it that or is it like this? Probably like that. And, uh, hold on a minute, no, it's like this, isn't it? So face your thingy towards you, then do it like that. Try and get that exactly the same. There, flush there to there, and then that, bend it over. And then that should be fine there. So then you've got your thing, you can round the corners if you like. Okay, now next one, I'm just going to put something here. I've got this prepared. Oh, again, I've done orange. <laughs> Never mind. Right, so what I've done is got a six by three piece of paper, scored it at an eighth of an inch down each side there. Okay, I'm going to make a thumb notch in it. Okay, in the middle there, because I think it looks nice anyway. Uh, even though it's not, it's not really any, <laughs> any use really, just, just for decoration. And then I'm going to cut the snip these off you just might have seen me do this before a million times but oh, I cut I've cut it too far there but it will be all right it's on the back isn't it there we go so we don't panic do we we just we just chill okay so that will go like oh yeah round in the corners okay 
and around the corners. Okay, and then turn those in. This is what I normally do. Then put it up there, and then turn those into in as well. Into <laughs> not turn them into anything, but turn them in as well. <laughs> Right, there we go. Oh, what I could do as well is put some of that little splashy thing on there as well, which I like. So if you've got a plain piece, use a bit of stencil. I mean, you can use any what you like. You don't have to use splashes, obviously. <laughs> Unless you like them like me, where you've got the stencil for it. So that makes that look like then it's got a bit of a background, doesn't it? So you could glue that and this, but I'm going to do it like that. Now I'm doing it like this. Uh, I'm doing it like this. Okay, you could do that, as I say, do those two and put them in there. And like I did the other envelope, I'm going to put that round the back. Okay, I'm going to glue so far up there. Okay. And here. Whoa, where are we going? Where are we going? Don't go around there. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that there, look. There we go. Right, okay, it decided to glue itself there for some reason. I want to glue there, look. Ooh, I'm going to glue there. And it's got a mind of its own. Yeah. Mm, that's the thing. So we glue there like this, and then we put that like that. <laughs> I can't believe I've chosen orange. I just did it earlier. I didn't know what an orange. <laughs> Still, it matches. Then you can do that as a tuck spot. Like check where the um, edge is there, and you put that there. And then I'm going to put the tuck spot towards the outside. So if you've got it on the inside, it might bend. You might have to bend you whatever you're putting in there. So I'm going to. Do, I've got some things to put in there actually. So I'm going to put an L shape. This is an L shape. I was thinking it was, again, earlier on I was thinking a backward L shape. And I thought, oh, no, it's a forward one. There we go. Yeah, so it's a forward L shape. There we go. Let's put that on there. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a... Let them talk about it. Glue! Right, okay. Right, so I've done that now. Okay, next one. Uh, is it this side of that side? I'm going to do it here, aren't I? I'm going to put an envelope, and my envelope is going to take uh, cards of two by three and a half. Because I think, let's have a look, let's, let's have a look, let's have a look. Where's my other one? Right, prototype, let's have a look. So I did, that's the, that's the envelope, if you can do it in there. Look. Um, because that is a um, single-sided piece of 12 by 12. And I've done the envelope on its side, uh, within, within the make. And I, if you're doing um, it, your card... Without the maker, um, obviously make it a little bit bigger than two inches by um, three, whatever it is, three and a half. And it'll make your little card a bit bigger than that and then follow my instructions on the other on the video. Um, and then you just have to make the paper, you put your, your card, that's around my card. I'm not sure if it's too clear on the video, but if you've got a card, if you're making a card, and that's that's obviously the wrong size, but if you're making a card and you're using one of these cards like I showed you, be that way round, then you would make sure you've got a little bit of a gap on your paper, so your paper will be going like that. You have about half an inch there or something, or th three-eighths of an inch or something like that all the way round, and then um, you can use it to make it. Now, there's a special way of doing it. It shows you on the video of how to do that so I ain't got time to explain now have I so what I'm going to do is make that and make it with my little maker so you've got one so you'll know how to do that if not there's videos on it and um, you can follow my video if you haven't got a maker okay so if you fold in the card and you've got the maker then you'll have it like this um, I like, oh it's the same paper <laughs> I didn't realize it's the same paper as I was using Right, so okay. Uh, I would have that on the inside rather than the outside if I'm having it that way up. That way or this, I think perhaps that way like that. And have one of these on the outside, okay. And again, I'm going to put some splashes in that because it's so, because uh, it's single sided. There's the things, okay. Okay, that's it. Right, so I'm going to put this in first, then that, then that. Okay, so that looks neater. Okay, then it looks like, I think if you put that one afterwards, it doesn't look very neat, does it? But you'd do it as if you got an envelope that way around, but just with that flap open. Okay, I'm not sure what um, you would do on the other side of the envelope. Oh, I told you the wrong size. <laughs> Yep, I've told you the wrong size envelope, haven't I? It is well, you can do it size you like, whatever will fit. Obviously, it doesn't really matter. But the size envelope I have done is different 
to what I said. I looked it up. It's the four and a half inch size paper. What size was it? That one here. That is two and a half times three. And uh, use it at the two and a half. So it's four and a half inches paper I've used. Right, that didn't turn out to be two. Oh yeah, it does now. Two inch. Is it two? Two and a half. Two and a half, really. No, it doesn't turn out. Mine never turns out to be two and a half, so that's why, why I was confused. And it was by, yeah, I would say three inches right, but two and a half is not right here with me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong there, but something's wrong. Let's have a look. That's my thing. What's here? Right, so, ooh, got them both here. Right, so, oh, that looks nice on there, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do is make, I'm just going to put it so that when it's open, the flap doesn't hit the top. And I'm, again, I'm going to do a tuck spot, so it's going to be an L shape. I'm doing it on this side again. So we're doing an L shape. Well, I am. I'm doing an L shape. Okay, you can do it. You can, if you can think of other things, brilliant. If you want to make it into a full pocket, you can. I love tuck spots. Okay, and I've done some um, things to put in the tuck spots, but I haven't done the other bit. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to nick the other things out. The prototype should fit. <laughs> so it's done it exactly the same size. Um, Okay, so I'll put that away. Right, okay, so what I've done now, I've got blue on there, look, that won't matter, will it? Because it's junk journal perfect and that's what we like. Okay, so it's got a little spine on there. Right then, I haven't got, oh, oh yeah, one thing I've not done yet is, a, is the belly band. I did a belly band on here because I wanted to put a tuck spot and I thought it needed something else. Uh, it's about four, and a, four inches by one and a quarter or something like that. Perhaps even less. So I can do that. Uh, let's find some different paper. I'm just attempting to cut it. That was about an inch actually, just or just over an inch. I'm doing it too too far in. This isn't going to be straight at all. Okay. Uh, I'm going. Yeah, it is. It's different. So it's going to be probably a bit thinner than the other one actually. The other one definitely like that. And, and a quarter of an inch. Right. So that would go there. And I'm going to glue top and top and. <laughs> Top and bot. I'm going to glue the top and bot. There we go. Whatever they are. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of glue there. So I'm going to put a st substantial amount actually, rather than just a line of glue. Sometimes it doesn't um, stay. And that's paper, so that might not. That might be a problem, but we'll see. Oops. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that could be a problem because it's quite thin. I don't know if it will. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Right, so now I'm going to grab all my stuff because I have made some extra things for this. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Okay, right, so we have, right, so I've got that, I've done that. Where are all my, I think these are the extra ones. What I've done is fun facts. I'll leave one in there. I've got four, I think, but could I do with five? I can't remember. If I need five, I'm going to, I'm going to grab one. So what I've done is fun facts and trivia. Okay, you can write them out, type them out, and fit them onto little bits of card. These little bits of card are two and a quarter, two and a half, two and a half by three, two and a half by one. Yeah, about two and a half by three or something like that. Um, so fun facts and trivia. I thought that'd be quite a nice bit, little bit of ephemera. I got them off the internet. Just put that in. Okay, and then I'm going to what I do is put them in. I can put one here. Japan is the world's most earth rate prone country. There are around four quadrillion quadrillion bacteria on Earth. Wow. People are currently alive, represent about 7% of the total number of people who have ever lived. Yeah, that's interesting. I've read that before, but you forget these things. Right, uh, I'm going to tuck it behind here. The longest place name on the planet is 85 letters long. It's in New Zealand. <laughs> four babies are born every sec every four seconds. That should be, I think. Oh, what have I done here? Put every second, I meant every four seconds. Coldest temperature ever recorded was minus 144 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, and that's in an Antarctica. The Earth's ozone layer will make a full recovery in 50 years, so hopefully we can sort that out. I'll be long on them. <laughs> right, um, unless I get the air lift on well over 100. Right, OK, and this one. The Paris Agreement on Climate Change was signed by the largest number of countries ever in, ever in one day. The world's quietest room is located at Microsoft's headquarters in Washington State. There's only one country in the world that doesn't use the metric system, and that's the USA. So get on with it, you know. Get get caught up with the rest of us. OK, I think I remember learning inches at school in... Um, so we must have gone metric later. I don't know when it was actually. <laughs> but I remember do remember learning that in school. If I'd missed one out because there's four. Um 
I don't know. There should be there should be enough for, for one. I must have forgotten to do something too. Sorry. Oh. Wait a minute, have I forgotten to tell you? Oh, I know what I didn't do. I took spot at the back there. Oh, I've done that there, look, instead. Yeah, so what I've done is I've put that there. So I'm going to put the tuck spot here. Or here. Actually, that side, that's a good idea. Uh, tuck spot. I just remembered I'm using a piece of envelope that went right yesterday. That one went wrong. That one went wrong, I did, on the um, prototype. Because I did the flamingos upside down. <laughs> uh, something went wrong. I can't remember what went wrong. Something went wrong on this. I didn't finish it off. Right, okay, so I'm going to put uh, a tuck spot here. Start somewhere here. I just measured it against there. And I'll just do this. And if it doesn't work out with the right length, I just cut a bit of the um, thingy off. I just cut a bit off. Right, if that was the wrong length, or was that the wrong length it might be, I could cut a bit, little bit, a tiny bit of that off. So you could cut a bit off here and then join it there somewhere. So it makes that a bit of a better shape. I rounded the corners. I don't know why I rounded the corner, but I did. Okay, and then I'm going to just glue there and there. I don't want to fill out that point, but that'll be alright, I think. Okay, put that in the corner. Okay, so I'm going to put that one in the other, that in there. So it's impossible for most people to lick their elbow. A crocodile cannot lick, stick its tongue out. A shrimp's heart is in its head. It's physically impossible for pigs to look up into the sky. I've heard of those before, but it's interesting. If you think if you hear things twice, then you always remember them, don't you? <laughs> right, I think that's what I think. Right, so okay, I'm going to nick the other bits out of here and um, just put those in as well. I'll tell you how I've made them. Uh, and there's these, isn't there? As well, that and it's another thing. I guess, yeah. So I'll just nick those. Okay. So I made these little card things. Okay, that's matching that thing, isn't it? That's two and a half by four. Yeah, two and a half by four and a half cards for all of them. This is the one that goes in between. And then I've just put a little tab on there. Same, I've rounded the corners. It sort of like fits right in here. You have to push it in and, and do that. Uh, let's see how big that is inch by I think it's inch by one and a quarter and I folded the one and a quarter side over and that's the inch okay Ooh. let's put those in there because that's why I wanted it in the middle so that poked out there like that and this again this is after the splashes <laughs> of course I was obsessed with the splashes and I've done the same to that one four and a half by I'm sure it's four and a half by two and a half uh yeah I think I think it is Sort of like that, four and a half by two and a half. If if it's too small or too big, just adjust it before you round the corner. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then put the that in there like that. And I've done lines from a um I've got a stencil that has that bullet journal things in and lines within that. Well there's rubber stamps and lines in there and things like that. And you can draw lines if you want to, you don't have to do that. And then that goes in there like that and sticks up there. Oh, and that goes a bit further than the other one, I think. So that's why I did an extra um, <laughs> quarter of an inch on the um, thing at the front. Okay, so that one goes in there. Oh, well that, this is might, might be what I oh know. That's fine. It's gone in. Okay, right. So this is the one that goes in here. I've done again. Done splashes. You can journal on that. Done splashes to match the splashes in there. You can journal on that. And then this one goes in. Oh, I didn't say the size, did I? Three and a half by two. Yeah, I did two. It should actually be two and a half, but because it's uh, the wrong size. Where's my... Where did I put my... Oh, it's a bit further back, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's the back now, yeah, because I'm <laughs> confused. Oh, no, that, should that go in there? No, it's all right, it is this one. It's this one it goes in. Don't worry about me, I'm uh, getting confused. <laughs> that goes in there, so that's again... That fits there fine. Two, two by um, whatever it is. Two by three and a half. That fits in there. I think it's nice if you just make sure it fits in 
inside these rather than poking out either side or too big you don't too big do you right so that completes that so what do we do now we put it in here I did promise you a closure didn't I so I'll put that in there oh that look nice now ah there there's plenty of room now and the other one there wasn't so that's why I did that so what I'm going to do now for the closure is just add a tab here okay there will that do that's that now that's a bit bendy isn't it it's too much so I'm going to find something else a piece, a piece of that will do. I'm not, I'm not even measuring it. Okay. Tab. Okay. Ooh, are we, are we uh, in shot? I'm just going to put a tab on there with a circle in it. Okay, circle will be here. So I'm going to put the circle here. I'd keep it here on time. So eyeball in it. <laughs> so it's a bit further in the middle. So I've there, so make sure it's in the middle by just holding it without without cutting. There we go. Oh dear. Right, so that's made there. I'm going to glue the rest of it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't work, does it? Okay, so then. And then I'm going to do one of those things. I don't know if it's because it's going to go, it'll close, keep that closed as well. Don't have to have made this, but I didn't keep I didn't put anything in there actually. Have I? <laughs> I could put some trivia, more trivia in there, couldn't I? Let's have a look. Let's grab some trivia out of here. There we go. That might fit in, might it? Will it fit in? Or is it too small? Or can we fold it? Oh, it might fit in. Uh, uh, it will fit in. <laughs> it might fit in. It will fit in. Let's just see if it'll fit in. Because you've got them little things, haven't you? Right, that is, let's see how big that is. That is uh, three inches, so that does not quite fit in there. Um, but I could do that. I could do it like that, couldn't I? Leave it open. There we go. That's about the name. Mohammed, it's uh, thought to be the most popular name in the whole world. That must be spelt like that as well, because there are different ways of spelling Mohammed, isn't there? Right, so what I'm going to do is mm -hmm, make a little decoration for this, but it's going to be a, a little... Um, it's going to be a, a functional decoration. Okay, I'm going to try it with the leaves. <laughs> right, what we're going to do is get some double-sided foam tape and just cut a square. You can do it with build it up with card as well, circles of card, which I think is also a good idea, which is what Patricia May suggested. So let's have a look. There we go. So I'm going to put that on there. And ooh, let's have a look. Oh, let's do this first. Shall we put that on there? Look. So that will go on there. I'm going to take the double sided off, tape off. That should be lifted enough up to wrap it around. But if you haven't, if you don't want to do that, obviously you could do that or, or other things too. I'm going to try and put that in the middle, sort of like equal distance. So it's like that in the middle to that. Okay, and then I'm going to try and find some ribbon. And where did I put my ribbon? Oh, yeah, I've put them all in a box. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to be awkward now and use this <laughs> colour. I'm going to get some of this. I'm going to get a length of ribbon, okay. And then I'm going to put it through. I'm going to be awkward and use this colour. I'm going to put it through here. Okay. Oops. Hold on. Because this is a colour that I've used in the journal quite a bit. Because <laughs> it's not quite. So I'll put it around there like that. This is ribbon. Okay, you can put it around as many times as you like, actually. Cut it so it's equal. There we go. So that now keeps that closed, doesn't it? Hopefully. Oh yeah, that's because it's got the. Um, it wouldn't normally be up there; it'd be down there. So that would keep both envelopes closed, wouldn't it? Okay. Right. Okay. So that does go to one side, doesn't it? That's a bit awkward, isn't it? See if I can. Yeah, it's the same. Right, I'm putting it to the other side. It's the same. So if you can work that out, that's fine. Um, I was going to actually tie it on this. And put it through that and I thought hold on a minute <laughs> right then anyway that's fun little that's a fun little thing to do isn't it uh, let's see if that will stay you can use uh, obviously string as well and things like that so it stays but that's fine I think that's fine it's like an end of a ribbon okay and then you've got your fun facts there so, okay you've got your if you like my content today please give me a thumbs up and um, I really appreciate that if you do that for me Save that. 
and anybody who has subscribed to my channel as well. I'll take that out for now. Uh, thank you so much. That is amazing. I really appreciate that as well. Right, it does help um, my channel to grow. I, it doesn't cost you anything as well, in case you thought it does. I used to think that actually as well. And all my friends does, and you know, we, we're quite intelligent people, so it's, it's not... Um, it's not uh, unusual to think that. Just subscribing means just to... Um, I don't know, you could, you could think you could do this or that way, that way or that way. Okay. They've got other ideas as well. You could do that. Uh, I did think of also um, putting some tool from the... And then sort of like crossing over as a parcel and tying it, tying it in the middle as well. I thought of that, but I thought this would be less cumbersome. And it's worked fine. Okay. Right, okay. So let's go to the journal now. And you've got your amazing uh, spine there, which I think is amazing, <laughs> like a book, proper book spine there. And then um, your belly band, which is working absolutely fine, and that's just a pattern. You can decorate these a bit more if you like, don't you? I mean, I've done <laughs> gone round the edges on some of them, haven't I? As you've seen, with um, yeah, on that one, with some more splashes, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Right, okay. Um, So I've done there and I've done that, haven't I? Okay, let's put that back. I was really interrupted again. My son wants me to start, <laughs> to start dinner. Right, okay. So don't worry, he's autistic. So, um, okay, so there's that one as well. And then I've got the fun... I've got, obviously, tucked in spaces. I've got these fun facts that I've written out. Jim, you can type them out or find them on the internet. Um, collect them and there might be cards I mean there's sometimes cards you can get with things on isn't there and things like that you could just put in there as well um, I don't know answers to uh, I think you'd use um, I'm just thinking for some reason what's that thing trivia pursuit trivial pursuit um, you could use if you've got an old game of that you could put that in it's <laughs> good that'd be good right okay I don't know if it's got the answers or the questions or both I think it might have and then, yes, of course it has it. One side it's the questions, one side it's the answers, isn't it? And then obviously you've got that and this. Plain. Splashy card. Brilliant. I love it. Right, OK, so that's that's the journal. Then you could put a title on there. On this one, is it? I put create. Um, so it could do that. You could print that on or um, rubber stand that on, etc. Right, let's have a look. So this is the reason I've done that little tiny bit bigger, because to make sure I didn't catch that card there. And of course it will close both doing this. And be less intrusive, etc. Or you could sort of like put a, all the way round if you like as well. You could do that if you didn't want to do that. All the way round or you can, um, as I say, do a bit, bit of tool like a parcel. Okay then, so I'll say bye now and thank you so much.